Hi, my name is Andreas. I'm part of the R&D team at Schubert. And today I would like to give you some insights into the new European Motorcycle Helmet Regulation, the ECE 2206. And in addition to that, also insights into the development of our latest helmet family to meet the new requirements. But let's start with the ECE regulation. The United Nations Regulation 2206 regulates which requirements a motorcycle helmet must meet in order to be approved for road traffic. The previous version, the 2205, has been in force for almost 20 years and is being replaced by the 2206. That means that from the 3rd of July of 2023, helmet manufacturers, as we, are no longer allowed to produce helmets homologated to the previous version. But what are the major changes and what does it mean for you as a rider? First of all, is it is important to know that the new ECE 2206 is intended to make helmets safer. Major changes relate to the impact management, to the retention system, to the protection of the eyes, as well as to the integration of accessories. So I would like to focus on these four topics for this talk. Okay, but let's start with the impact management requirements. First of all, the 2206 defines a much higher number of test points, which are tested by renowned institutes such as the TUV in Germany. At this helmet, you can clearly see the differences between the 2205 and the 2206 regulation. Impact points of the 2205 are marked in green. And as you can see, the 2206 regulation defines additional 12 impact points which has to be tested. For the impact test, the helmet, including a specified test head equipped with sensors, will be dropped in a drop tower on a flat and a curved anvil. In addition to the 2205, the tests are now carried out with different speeds, ranging from 6 to 8.2 meters per second. The relevant parameters we are looking at are the acceleration, so how much ahead within a helmet decelerates, and the HIC, which is the so-called head injury criteria. The new regulation now also defines an oblique test. That means that the helmet will be impacted on a 45 degree angle. And by doing so, rotational accelerations are impacted. For this test, the limits are defined by the rotational acceleration as well as the brick, which is the brain injury criteria. Due to the increased requirements of the new regulation, the helmet shells or the helmet has to change strongly. Being aware of these changes, we started the development of the new C5 already in 2019 by means of an extensive analysis and testing program. We tested more than 2000 helmets with different shock absorption concepts in our Schubert fully equipped test lab. And as a result, we defined a complete new helmet shell. The helmet shell is now used an additional carbon layer to achieve a better shock absorption on the one hand and on the other hand also to achieve our weight targets. So the new C5 weights 1660 gram in size L with all accessories mounted and is homologated to the new ECE 2206 norm. And that is even lighter than its, than its predecessor. And as you all know, the impact management of a helmet not only depends on the outer shell, but also strongly on the inner shell. Underneath the outer shell, we developed multi-density EPS parts to ensure a perfect energy absorption as well as an excellent fit. And as a result, the helmet provides a perfect energy absorption, both to linear and rotational impacts. Besides the optimization of the helmet shell and the in our shell, we carried out an intensive research for designing the chin part. And here we achieved a successful PJ homologation. So hence, by this, 
you can enjoy your ride with a closed chin part or with an open chin part. In addition to the impact management, there are new requirements also to the retention system. The effectiveness of the retention system is determined by how much a helmet moves relative to the head in the case of an accident. The roll-off system is now defined to be conducted in both directions, so both to the front and also to the back. To fulfill this requirement, we optimized our patented Schubert anti-roll-off system. The system consists of the chin strap as well as two additional neck bands. So therefore, the system ensures that the helmet will not fall off the head in a case of an accident. Doing so, we did not just optimize the safety requirement in according to the new regulation, but also optimized the wearing comfort by reducing and avoiding pressure to the larynx. The new norm also comes with relevant changes to the visor and to the sun visor. The integrated sun visor is now being more closely tested. If a helmet comes with a sun visor such as the C5, it has to be impacted with a sun visor in a working position. Furthermore, there are now requirements to the optical properties of a sun visor. For instance, a minimum of 20% of luminous transmission. That's why the new sun visor of the C5 is less dark in comparison to the previous ones, for instance, such as the C3 Pro sun visor. The requirements of the visor and its mechanics has also been increased. The visor has now to withstand an impact of a 6 mm steel ball at a speed of 60 m per second. To fulfill these requirements, we developed complete new sun visors as well as visors, which have been successfully homologated in accordance to the 2206. The C5, E2 and S3 visors are first-class visors, which allow you to ride even with our pre-installed pin look, also at night. Last but not least, there are also changes to the accessories, such as the Schubert communication system SC2. Accessories are now part of the homologation process. It means that a device is attached to a helmet and is part of the testing procedure within the homologation. In particular, the impact management of the helmet must not be negatively affected by the mounted accessory. Furthermore, only the accessories that are installed during the homologation process may be later used without losing the homologation of the helmet. Okay, let's sum up. So as you can see, there are major changes in the requirements of the ECE 2206 in comparison to the previous version. The new regulation is a real improvement and it's making helmets safer. The Schubert C5 has been the first modular fiberglass helmet available on the market, homologated against the new regulation. But it not only fulfills the requirements of the regulation, but also fulfills the so-called Schubert specifications. This specification even exceeds the limits of the 2206. By doing so, we ensure that our helmets are even safer than required by the regulation and provide an excellent safety performance. The whole Schubert team puts all its experience, know-how and all its passion into the development of the new Schubert helmet family to protect the safety of riders as much as possible. So we hope you enjoy the helmet as much as we do. I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions or something to share, please comment the video or write us an email. Have always a safe ride.